Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're going to do some more rocket planes since that seems to be a video that is highly viewed. I figured maybe I could go ahead and continue with that. Um, let me think. So this of course is the Daedalus class. It's one rocket engine, brings about five tons up into space. So a heavy, heavy satellite pretty much. Mm. However, I want to try to get something bigger up into space using nothing but a rocket or maybe just one rocket. That's an idea. Okay. Something bigger up in space, just using one rocket. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll start off with actually a smaller cargo bay. That seems a little too ambitious right in th that this moment in time. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Kind of get like a, maybe a space station size module up there. There we go. Yeah. If it could fit something like that up there, we're good. So we're going to use this as kind of like a measuring device for how big a single module could be or can be. That'll work. Now, what's a good, large, powerful engine? Something Something that's got a lot of kick. Something that's got a lot of kick. Okay, so the Mammoth liquid fuel engine is technically four engines in one, but it's got the most powerful kick already at 6.23 TWR at 3,000 meters per second. If we can get up to 4,000 meters per second in our design with uh, a TWR of at least a um, little less than two, maybe, then we'll have enough to get up there in one shot. All right, we're going to try something a little different. Hopefully to move the uh, center of mass up a little bit more and uh, even just a little bit on part count. All right, let's see how heavy this thing is. Okay, so without it, it's 88 tons. And of course with it is 105 tons. So that's 17 tons difference. Okay, 17 tons, huh? Hmm, so what if we do 24 tons? 34 tons, excuse me. So what if we do 34 tons? All right, 34 ton test. Wow, we lost a lot of Delta V on that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm, hmm, that, that would be a challenge. 34 ton test, huh? Woof. I mean, that's almost the equivalent of an orange fuel tank of 36 tons. Hmm, <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Let's try to put an orange fuel tank up there because why not? Crap jump down to 175 and TWR. Mm, we're almost there of what we need. Mm, almost there at 1.5 TWR. Yikes. Getting worse. Getting considerably worse. All right. 3855 at 1.32 to TWR. Good golly, Miss Molly. That's really pushing it. That might work. Okay. This might actually work. Ooh, wait, hmm, maybe not. Uh, let's see. No, that's not, that's not doing it for me. Okay, well, it's getting somewhere. We're still at sitting at delta V of 3,700, which is which is it's it's pushing it. For TWR of 1.3. It's uh, ha ha ha. Hmm. Oh, is there any more I can squeeze out of this thing? No. Damn. It seems like I tend to make all my plane wing designs just like this, this delta wing look. I don't know why, I, I just really like that look. I just really, 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 really like it. Hmm, weird. Fascinating. Oh mm, gosh. We're definitely gonna need the biggest freaking gears you can give us. Yeah. Hold on, what happens when I take this sucker out? Oh, well that's nice. Center of mass didn't really change that much. Hmm, really? Okay, what's it look like when everything is empty? You know what I wish? I wish there was a button. And I know there's a mod out there that probably does this already. You just click it once and it takes all the fuel out of the uh, all the tanks all at one shot that way you can instantly know what you're looking at empty weight well that's not half bad the center of mass didn't move that much well hold on hold on let me take oh wow no it didn't move all that much huh that's not bad at all did i accidentally stumble upon something only if it works here let's do this okay since i know this thing is going to come down kind of heavy i'm going to give it two front uh, landing gears one to catch it on its way down and then once everything's settled down a uh, second one to 
to actually steer the craft when it's on the ground. Because look how small this is. This is the biggest steering gear they have. So yeah. <laughs> so when it's steering on the ground, it's going to kind of look like this. Eh. Oh. Um, hmm. Okay, new plan. Maybe we do this, right? On the sides. Let's bring it up a pinch. That's a good plan, right? Might be too close for comfort, though. With the uh, belly being so close to the ground during takeoff. That could work, though. During takeoff, we could have something really long to automatically prop the nose up. So the nose will already be pretty much positioned upwards. That'll help with takeoff. That could work. That could really work. Alright, so that helped bring it back up to 3,700 delta V. Which is alright. It's not perfect, but it will. it's something to work with. Hmm. I think I'll change this up just a little bit. Instead of it making uh, making that radial, I'll make it mirror, bring it down one. Same thing down here. Kind of spread that out a little bit. Oh boy, there she is. Almost, anyway. Now, the reason why I still put struts in some parts, even though there's auto strut everywhere, is because auto strut doesn't really take care of everything. So if you mix old school with new school, you'll get everything. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, here we go. Space bar in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. What have I done? Come on. You nose heavy big son of a gun. I don't think this is gonna work. Woo! Woo! Ooh! Damn! That light right there carved that whole thing a new one. Smaller gear, something nice and small. There we go. Let's try that. Boy, you are a heavy bit. All right, 45 degree angle. That's kind of our sweet spot. Oh, there she goes. Woof. We're a little crooked, but at this point, I don't care. At 400 meters per second, we'll go pro grade. 400, going pro grade. All right, nose is a little hot. We're just gonna go ahead and coast up to our apoapsis. I think we're gonna make it. One engine, 36 tons, on a rocket space plane that takes off like a plane and lands like a plane. Huh, no kidding. I didn't even think it was possible. So we're in orbit with 500 meters per second left of delta V. Huh. Really? <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Uh, no. Oh, I don't have any reaction wheels or any way to control this thing. Well, that's a problem. Hmm. Now, I have thought about putting something like canards on this sucker. I mean, eh, hmm. It does look kind of pretty. I won't lie, it does look kind of pretty. Let's release the cargo and check out our RCS maneuverability. Okay, well not that bad. A little bit of a drift, but I figured as much since the center of mass likes to float around a little bit back and forth in this area, but that's not bad at all.
oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, how is she butt heavy? We fixed this. How is she ass heavy? We fixed this. Okay, so apparently she's ass heavy just by a little bit and it's just enough to throw it off. So that's a simple fix. That's a simple fix. I can actually just pull the wings back a little bit. Okay, here we go. This is a short freaking runway. I don't see us making it. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll take that. I'll take that. Hoo wee. Goodness gracious. Okay. Okay. So a little bit of a wing fix there. I'll just take the wings and I'll just pull them back a pinch. It looks like our center of mass was out of whack just by an enough. Enough to make it ass heavy. But that's a simple fix. Everyone, I'm all out of time. Uh, I don't know what to call this thing. I was actually thinking about calling it, um, oh, what was that? What was that name of the Warhammer movie? Well, it's not a movie, but it's a fan made, uh, computer graphics. Very well done, by the way. Um, Astrades or something like that. Astrades? Astrades? Uh, am, am I pronouncing that wrong? I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. That's okay. But anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Share, like, and subscribe. Ooh.